No, that's not we true. We ride slow. <laughs> we, we do it things that the girls don't do. We do it. We do it. I do it. Gotta laugh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hey Daddy to the Gin and Juice podcast. I am Melissa. And I'm Mel. And we talk a little bit about everything and nothing at all. Um, we are real life sisters for those of you who are joining us for the very first time. <laughs> and we have another sister, but she doesn't live here. Yes, and we but do. But when she comes here, she's going to be on the show. She you just guys doesn't will, live here. Yeah, you guys will absolutely meet. Her name is Monique. Yes. We are all M's. So Melissa, Monique, Melanie. Yes. Th- that is all of us. She is our middle sister. So I'm the oldest. And Monique, I'm the youngest. And then Melanie. Yes. Um, which is so funny because M- Mel Mitchell yep. on tour with Kevin. Yes. So listen, this is so funny. I used to work at Cartoon Network with Mel Mich- Mel Mitchell's sister. Her name is Monique. And so whatever, we meet and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. I have a sister named Monique. And she says, oh, that's funny. I have a sister named Melanie. And I was like, oh, Monique and Melanie. And then she's like, I have an older sister named Melissa. And I was like, what? <laughs> and she, I'm like, do you have other siblings? And she's like, no, it's just the three of us. And I was like, well, I have a sister named Melissa, and I have a sister named Monique, and I'm my last name. My name is Melanie. And then their last name is Mitchell, and our last name, our, our maiden, name. maiden name, is Marshall. And I was like, blown. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that so weird? Do they was, have the same middle initial letter? I don't remember. They probably do. I don't remember though. That but is it was so, funny. so Weird. And so anyway, what's really funny is everybody, like not everybody, a lot of people, when they mean to tag Mel Mitchell now, they're tagging me Uh, and they don't realize that like I'm not on tour. I'm not the comedian. She's on tour and she's the comedian. But like we have the same names in our family. It's so weird. That is so funny. I should ask her mom's name. I don't know her mom's name. Yeah, I wonder where she got it from. We have a history of a legacy. So funny. It's not a history. I'm going to call it a legacy. Yes. Of M's in our family. So quite literally every M name you can think of. Yes. We uh, especially for the girls. It's for the girls. They all start with M. So obviously Melissa, Monica, Melanie. My mom's name is Mary. I have an aunt Marquisa. I was about to just say Kisa. Marquisa, Melinda. We have a Michelle, Monica, Michael, Mariah, McKinley, McKinley, Malia, Malia. Yeah, I forgot about Malia, Makaya. We have all the M's. Um, but I, oh, I forgot. I was about to say something. Oh, we have all the M's. Okay, I don't know. I keep going. Oh, if I had a girl, I was gonna name her Mariah, and then I had a boy, and so I gave my sis, the middle sister Monique, the name Mariah, and that's my niece Mariah, yes. who's just a sweetheart, by the way. Uh, so yeah, we're all M's, and I, oh, I know, go. I know what I was gonna say. Somebody just sent me. I didn't get to watch the full video, but somebody just said. Traditions, because you said it's a tradition in our family. Somebody said traditions oh, I saw this. are just peer pressure from really? dead people. Yes, it's the best. And I was like, you. It really is. Accurate. Because I'm telling you what, I told the boys like over this weekend that when you guys have kids, if you have girls, I need you to name them with yes. M's. I need you to play it for it. Although I'm not, what names don't we have? I was, I wanted to name Micaiah a lot of names, but um, I really like Madison. Oh, yeah, that's cute. You know what I like for a girl's name? That's actually a boy's name? What? Malachi. I do, too. I tried to get Greg Greg Debo oh, that one. I what? like it, too. I think Malachi is such a, like, pretty, what's the name that I'm looking for? Unisex name. Oh, you, yes. Yeah. Yes. I had all the girl names. Greg was not. I li- I had a lot of names. I really, I liked We could have still called her Kai. We could have. If Malachi. We could have still called her Greg's Kai. That was cute. I don't like Macy, though, Mel. I love Macy. Why? I also like Mason, but like M-A-S-Y-N. Oh, Mason is cute. I wanted to do Mason. You know why I don't like Macy? I think it was that 16 and married girl, 16 and pregnant girl's name. That's why I like it. Are you serious? She's one of my favorite teen moms. (laughs) Isn't her son? It's Bentley, right? Oh, I didn't. Well, no, I did. They're the best. What? Oh, my gosh, they're the best. I felt, wasn't her husband, her baby daddy a, a drug addict? Trash, yes, but she's married now. She has like four or five kids with her new man. Yes, they are like so great. Why would she have five kids? Because she's she, only, what, 23? She's older now. I don't remember how old, but she's great. <laughs> she's doing really well. I'm so happy. I love Macy. <laughs> That's where I got the name from. I love Macy. That's she's literally- my favorite teen mom. Well, you've been watching reality TV for a long time. For a Actually, long time. low key though, I was addicted to Teen Mom as it well. It was so good. No, no, I enjoy. The thing is, back in the day, like it was so long ago, but back in the day, 
all the church people were like, this is glorifying mm -hmm. teen pregnancy. And I was like, you've never watched the show. No. I don't think they glorified. Mm -mm. This was the worst it, life yes. these yes. little girls had to live. And their boy. And then because it was such a like w wide array of people, some of them had like medical complications, yes. health concerns. Leah, she has twins. Yes. And one of her twins was born with a, I don't remember, I don't remember exactly either. either. But uh, she like still has surgeries and like medical issues oh, wow. that she still has to like tend to today. I feel like it did a good job of representing, like, the like spectrum. Life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, and then the one everybody hates. What's her name? Oh, what's her name? The one everybody Ooh. hates. From the OGs? I only know the OGs. Oh, no. I kept watching. Oh. There is there is a girl. Um, the one that didn't get along with her mama? Who ended up being, like, a porn star. She's, yeah, like, I know. Playboy. Farrah. There's her who, like, took it in, like, yeah. a completely different direction. She didn't get along with her mama, though. No, she didn't. Yeah. And her, her dad's name is Michael, and she used to be like, Michael! <laughs> was it her dad dad or her stepdad? Her dad. Oh, I thought that was her stepdad. <laughs> I did, too, because she called him Michael. That's her daddy. Ew. <laughs> uh, she did become a, um, she did get into, like, porn and she, stuff. She, like, doesn't even look the same anymore. She looks wild. Sometimes I, like, go on her Instagram. She looks wild. She oh. looks I, It reminds different. me of Aubrey O'Day. She kind of looks different, oh, too, yeah, from yeah, yeah. Uh, Danity yeah. Kane, which I used to love them. Do do you have a first aid kit handy? Uh, are you? Are that's the song Wait. you was going to go with? No, how did? I thought what you, would you going to go with? For Danity Kane? That's the only. No, that's not we true. We ride slow. <laughs> we we do things slow. that the girls the don't, don't do. do. We do that. We do that. I do it. Gotta laugh. Yeah. We do that. Show, show, stop. I don't know the lyrics, but I know that show part. Stop it. That's show, the, show, stop it. That's the point. Okay. That one. <laughs> but you have to do uh, broken. What is it called? Oh. Broken. Damage. Heart. Yes. Yes. I can't do it because they sound, they sound silly singing that. What? I mean, it's great, but like, they sound silly. Why would you say this? This is a freaking great song. You know who sounds silly is Puff Daddy. No. Girl. Did he actually? He always sounds silly. He sounds ridiculous. Is Why is he man. on the track? He is a silly man. Sorry, what did he say? Uh, what did he say? God, dog. Now we got to play it. That's such a great. Damage Day is a great song, but it's just like the way they're. They sound like they're straining the whole time. I feel like this is disrespectful. No, they sound like they're straining. And the video is freaking fantastic. Listen, the video is freaking fantastic. Oh, I forgot myself. How to take up a Stop thinking it's gonna keep coming through. I can just muted myself. Baby. No, they sound like they're straining. This is great. Me crazy. Oh my Jesus. I really All wanna right. be All right. a lady. But the one before it left me so. <laughs> oh, that is the best. <laughs> they were doing this dance. That's why it's silly. <laughs> It's silly. They what? were great though. D what? Listen, if Diddy didn't do nothing, oh, he Danity did. Danity Kane and, and Day Twenty Six. Day Twenty. I was about to say I, making the band. Day Twenty Six. Oh, making the band. No, no, no. I couldn't think of the name of their group. Oh, but making the band was good too. Absolutely. But what is Day Twenty Six's actual song? Um, um, you know their song. I Come don't. on. Yes, you do. Hold on. I don't. I Come on. Um, I do not. Oh my gosh. What is the name of their song? I feel like they since had you've been gone. Since you've been gone. That's Kelly Clarkson. Hold on. Hold on. That <laughs> That's the only Kelly since you've been gone I recognize. No. And exclusive. That's the one. Wait, when didn't they? they have a, no. With when Jeezy? they broke down exclusive and did the acapella version? I have no idea what you're I talking about. I got my life. I have no idea what song you're talking about. You need about. to look up the acapella version of exclusive. Play it, Mel. Because now we're already un, un, what you call it? 26 acapella. Be day 26. Oh, my gosh. They killed it. What is, but what, didn't they do a song with, like, Jeezy? I, young John, come on and know oh, who I'm talking about. Oh, they did do about. a song with come Young John. Come on and know who I'm talking about. They did. What's the name of it? I don't know. I thought it was Jeezy. I don't Hold know on. if Jeezy was out at this time. <laughs> no, that's since you've been gone. Day 26, no. I, you heard the song before, Amir? Yeah, listen, Robert used to sing. Yeah, but I think he hits women. That might, they allegedly. <laughs> that, might that might be alleged. That might be alleged. That might be alleged. Oh wait, hold on. This is hold on. That's a that's an ad. Hold Hello? On. You don't have YouTube free? I don't have a job. It's not called YouTube free. 
Girl, why are you talking? Girl. This is not what you think it is. You too far. I'm not. I'm not going to do that to you. I don't know you. I don't know. I can't find it, but exclusive. I'm going to put it on her. Acapella. Oh, I'm going to oh. put it on her. That's a, it. I'm going to put it on That's the one Listen. with Young God Jeezy. 2008, 6, 7, male at oh, the club. Oh, oh, Sing hold it. on. I'm going to put it on her. This I'm is a, the I'm one. Put, yeah. This is that the song boy. that I know. This is, aren't they like on the beach or something in I the video? I am not I'm going to put it on. I used to love this. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to. Listen. Why was you in the club? Where's mama? I was in college. I was in Atlanta living my best life. First of all, don't be gin right now because I was over there being juice. Play the song. I want to watch the video. Listen, I will sing. Listen. That's. Turn this up. Oh, okay. I'm getting hot already. First of all, that's the song that I remember. Was this the intro to our episode? Why is it so long, though? Where's the video? It's because YouTube, they be lying. They, people be uploading videos like, you want to hear the new whatever, and then it just be them. I think it's this. Like, girl. Oh, in yeah. my bed? Day 26. Wait, that's holiday. Jay Holiday, isn't it? That's just called bed. Oh, hello? Well, child, we here now. I, yes, Young Jock. Young Jock is Mike. My... Remember Mike? Big Mike? Yes, I used to love him. He was and great. And he had dimples. He was so cute. I love, what happened to them? Can we get a where are they now? They always be trying to come back together. They be trying to all the time be like, we gonna be on tour. I haven't heard they such be, things. But I think they be beefing with each other, but they be going on tour, I think. Didn't one of them did like the also, girl? and from... what happened is Diddy took their money. I did. Because he be taking all the money. Allegedly. Allegedly, Ziddy, you got money. Don't sue me. Oh, they said they were on the millennial. First of all, everybody named Mama was on the millennial tour. I don't know I why they didn't ask me go. to be on the millennial tour. I was trying to go, but y'all don't be real millennials that no. know the stuff. No, first, no, because that's because it was young millennial. I including mean, day twenty six. Yeah, but sometimes they go to like bow wow. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I had aged out. I had aged out. But uh, Usher just did a new. Was it a millennial tour? Usher. Yes. He's not a millennial tour person. Listen to me. He, he was on not. something. He I was sure. advertising it. I don't know if he okay, was actually on Okay, because he it. would never be on the millennial tour because the disrespect is at an all-time high. I feel like he was on, because I get text messages from, uh, from fr there you go, I'm Lovers 30, and Friends tour. I'm 35, I Natasha. love when y'all know what I'm, I'm talking 35. about. I love when y'all know what I'm oh, talking yeah, about. Because y'all know I'm going to get stuff wrong, that's but y'all be coming through. That's called Millennial Tour. That's Lovers and Friends, Millennial no, Tour. No, Lovers and Friends, you automatically go Luda and Lil Jon. There you is go. Not that's exactly. Okay, that's different than Bow Wow. Mario. I mean, Day 26. That's a whole different, like, concert. Exactly. Anyway. That was my point. That That's why Usher was on it and not on the other one. <laughs> Good night. Follow my thoughts. Follow my thoughts. That sounded like a song, too. Okay, come on. All right, so what was that part of the show? <laughs> we went from Mel Mitchell's family to I don't even know how we 20, got there. Daddy came then day 26. How did we get there? Was I about to say something else? No, we literally didn't start. You said, welcome to the Jen and Juice show. Oh, well, I'm Melissa. <laughs> And I'm Mel. And again. we're about to officially start 15 Amen. minutes in. Let's go. All right. First, we're going to start with long story short. This actually came up, which uh, is somehow starting to also be things that are going on in our life, but also um, uh, old stories that we've never told you guys. Oh. So we were at, I don't remember how this came up, though. I don't either. We were talking about. I don't know. Your drunken story. I don't know. It was something specific. Something was going on, and uh, me and Mel were trying to do this little bit, what we're trying to do. Anyway, we were talking about what was brought up was Mel was in college, obviously, in the club, dancing to that Day 26 song. And a whole lot of other ones. And a whole lot of other ones. And I was grown and married with a child. Yes. And our middle sister yes. was uh, also with child, a like not with child pregnant, but also a had child, kids. child, had a kid. Yes. And we went to go visit Mel at Spellman, and we were asking her for glasses for the children. Like kitty cups, because y'all had kids, but I didn't have no kids. So what did you bring out, Melanie? Well, listen. And Mama was there, too. Mama was there, too. They asked for, like, cups for kids. I gave them shot glasses. Because that is an appropriate substitution for kitty cups. It's not, though. 
She absolutely 100% When you are young and free and living life and you ain't got no kids, you don't just keep kitty cups. I probably have some plastic cups because I like plastic wear. But I had shot glasses and that was an appropriate substitution. <laughs> and they love to bring that up. But like, I feel like that was a great substitution. First of all, it's not you're a great welcome. substitution because you're teaching my kids to be alcoholics. No. Mm -mm. At the ripe age of three years old. That is called resourceful. <laughs> and mom was like, why do you have shot glasses? <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Girl, do you want a shot? I have liquor for why those do shot you, glasses Why too. do you have shot glasses? Mel had glass and this is the thing you know when you have little kids you don't want glassware you want plastic yes yes actually that's it those are the only options <laughs> yes. you want plastic the end so we're like do you have something and she's like yes shot glasses you're welcome first of all shot glasses aren't even enough juice it's not <laughs> to even have they gotta take three shots they got exactly of apple juice <laughs> of apple juice um so anyway i don't know why we told that story me either but the other thing, Joe made the track team. Yeah. And I went to his, I've been to a couple track practices now at this point. Are they kicking you out? And Josiah wants to kick me out. I'm sure. Because this is what's going on. First of all, there's only maybe two coaches. I'm actually not quite sure if the other guy's a coach or not, or a helper. I'm not quite sure. So I go out there and there's all of these kids on the line doing, you know, running. Mm -hmm. They're actually doing blocks. And I'm like, first of all, where's your coach? Because races start and end with how you come out of the block. So, like, someone needs to be training you on, like, how to get down, how to make sure your feet are right, whatever. And all the upperclassmen are helping the lower classmen, but the coach is not there. Oh. Yes. So I was like, okay, well, now I'm coaching. So I'm, like, yelling stuff, trying to get him to get into his blocks or whatever. And Joe was like... You have to sit down. I was going, why did you think you should be the coach at that point? Because if there's no coach available, you clearly, I told him he can call me coach mommy now. Be and all, then this is what messed up though. Okay, that was the first day. And he's like, I don't want you to say nothing. Don't say nothing. So the second day I was like, I won't yell, but I'm like, I'm gonna still say stuff. So the second day he's running and I see him running and I'm like, uh, you need to pump your arms. And if you're on, and I'm, I actually, I'm lying. I was yelling. I was yelling because he course, was on the track and I wasn't there. So he needed to hear me. So I was yelling. So I'm like, pump your arms. You need, you got to get out of the straightaway. I mean, out the curb because you know, when you're on the yeah. curb, you think you're winning and that straightaway is an equalizer. Yes. So I'm like, you got to keep your lead once you're in that, you know, yeah. you got to keep it going. So I'm fussing, yelling at him. <laughs> it's tall distance runner comes around and he says whatever she says we need to be doing <laughs> have you seen that tiktok where they're just like oh wait my powers are coming no. through oh my god it's so freaking hysterical literally i was like oh no you shouldn't have said anything Why you should not that? have affirmed me was he being serious it, or oh was no he, like he said it twice oh lord so the first actually the first time he said what she said we all need to be listening to that curb we absolutely da da da, da. the second time he said anything she says we need to be listening to <laughs> I and I was you. like, oh, we're done now. That's why I posted that picture on my Instagram. About to say, you about to bring the actual news clipping in. So listen. Absolutely. I. 100%. Because I Joe, Joe is like, you don't, you got it quiet. You're yelling. It's embarrassing. I'm like, first of all, I'm the only one I heard that knows what they're talking about. Hilarious. Okay. So let me show you proof. Okay. <laughs> let your me mama. Show you let proof. me show you proof. Your mama was in the newspaper. It this. don't matter if it was local. Amen. I was in the newspaper. Amen. So come Your out here. And my daddy was too. So when you come out here, if you're not doing something correct, I'm gonna correct you. I'm going to correct you. You need to and Joe, this is this is how my son runs. Don't you play him. <laughs> <laughs> you're annoying. <laughs> he about to win Pump all his arms! That's all I'm yelling the whole time. Did the coach ever come out? So this is what happened. <laughs> the first day. He wasn't, he was like doing whatever he was doing. The second day I actually introduced myself. I was going to ask um, I had emailed him a few times. So I was like, hi, you know, I'm Melissa, whatever. So he comes around, he sees me saying stuff again. And he comes over and he's like, you guys got to get in the blocks. Make sure your butt is, oh, now you want to come coach. <laughs> oh, the coach wants to come coach. Why didn't you say Why to coach? aren't you coaching Hello. if you are the coach? <laughs> Why are you coaching if you're not the coach? Because the coach isn't coaching. <laughs> so that gives, tells me there's a vacant position. Hello. All I'm you asking for the coach. is for it to be. The way I told Josiah, don't let me find out y'all could use a parent coach. I keep it in this. Would you? Absolutely. You would? 100% without it. I was already on YouTube. I kid you not. I was on YouTube. 
let me refresh my memory. How are you supposed to get out these blocks? <laughs> How are you supposed to, what's the steps again to get out the box correctly? Because I will 100% without a shadow of a doubt. And I want him to do hurdles too. I was over do there talking you? to, yes. Oh, Lord. I was talking to the coach uh, on the day that I introduced. So do you guys have highs or lows? Do they? They have highs, but they do the lows at a different distance than 300. I was going to say, it's not 300. Yeah, and then they do the high. We did the highs at 100. 100? I think he said 110. So it's like oh, a little bit longer. That, yeah. I think that's what they do in professional, but I, I don't literally remember. I was about to say, I feel like when I watch the college and the, uh, yeah. uh, the, the Olympic ones, they be at 110. Yeah, yeah. But then the threes, to be the threes. I, the yeah, most. well, threes or 400. He, he said a different, I don't really remember. Because I had to go over there and act like I knew what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do the highs Hilarious. or you do the lows. Um, so, yeah, that was that. And then I was about to say something else. Uh, Joe's in track. Uh-huh. We talked to the boy. Oh, uh, Isaiah going to ask that little girl on oh, Valentine's for the- Day. To be his girlfriend mm-hmm. officially? Mm-hmm. What is he going to bring with him? That's what I said. I said, Isaiah, I think you need to buy like an oversized teddy bear. And he was like, no, that's corny. And I was like, absolutely not. You 100. Then he said, remember when? We, remember I told y'all? I know I always be whispering because I feel like they can hear me. <laughs> remember I told y'all that I dropped Isaiah off at Universal? Yep. I told y'all. Yeah. And remember? Mm-hmm. He brought her a teddy bear that day. Oh, did he? Yes, and then she posted it on her Instagram. How do you know he showed you? He showed you? me the picture. Oh, so he So was she was in the bed with the teddy bear like this, and the picture was like this. How soon after um, the I Like Your Glasses post was that? This is, when did the I Like Your Glasses? That, that only happened over Christmas break. Oh. So we're still in January. Okay. Well, this is great. Yeah, so he's finna do that. She's not a white girl. And Monique, do not tell Nehemiah because then Nehemiah will tell Isaiah and Joe and then Isaiah with Joe will come back and tell me. And now we got whole auntie, mama, son issues. Zay got the Riz. Oh, and Riz is a word. Y'all been hearing it ever since. Ever since we had this conversation, it's everybody, been. I got DMs and me we got too. a tweet about yeah. it. That, that Riz, Riz is, is a real. word. That The Riz is real. The Riz is a word. Okay, what's yours, ma'am? I don't have any. Oh, well, then I have more. Go ahead. We were nominated for NAACP (laughs) for our book, Marriage Be Hard. I don't want to hurt y'all ears, but I really want to scream. That's so exciting. And I I, I think as of today, I'm excited about it. That is so dope. Yes. You guys are New York Times bestsellers. Forever and always. And always now NAACP nominated. And don't let y'all win. Oh, my God. Don't let y'all win. Okay. Uh, if we win, I don't even know. I I don't even know because I don't. Yeah. This is not a voting category. This is not a voting category. Y'all can vote for Kev. But, but y'all, y'all absolutely can vote. For, please make sure you vote for Kev. But you can't vote on please this one. Please make sure you vote for Kev because we need this man to win this award. Amen. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we're not in a voting category. It is for like debut author or something like that. Yes. Uh, we need to actually make the like official announcement on our thing. But this is what's so funny. And it actually speaks to like the last thing I'm going to say today about my long story short. Hopefully yes. we get through everything. Because we've been in this section for a while, yeah. I'm gonna go off. Um, we can skip pop the trunk. I was just about to say, okay. The thing about this life is two things. I'm surprised you haven't said. Did you want to talk about your tomorrow? Oh, I can. Okay, that Mel is starting a contract new job tomorrow. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about it? Stressed. Are you? Yes. To say more. I feel like. So I was feeling good because it is a um, freelance consulting ish type of job, um, which feels really good because it's not full time. I have a lot of freedom, a lot of flexibility. I still get a check. And this feels like the phase, the type of working that I want to do at this point in my life, because I still want to like explore other things. And like that feels really good. But the idea of working and not like, because I do work, but like the idea of this kind of work, corporate again, is like really stressful. My last job beat me down, Yeah, is what stressful. I realized. The more that like I think about what's next and all of, like it broke me down. I have never worked so hard. Like I would be working 60, 70, 80 hours a week, yeah. literally, up all night, up early in the morning, working meetings, reading scripts, like It just, it was a lot. And while I am thankful and, like, love all of the things that I did there, I just do not, there is no world in which I can, like, do that again. Again. And so 
I'm nervous that like this job will be the first step towards going back to that. And that I think is what is stressing me out. Like I don't, I cannot, I cannot do that again. Period. Period. You th I don't think it will be. And it's contract. So it's easier for you yes. to be like, I can I can decide not to re-engage. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. It's not yeah. like this is indefinitely until I quit and that becomes a harder decision. Yeah. Um, this is like at the end of whatever the term is. Three. I can't remember. Three months. You can decide to like re-up or say thanks so much. Yes. But no thank yeah. you. And I'm happy about that. I'm happy to like, all right, this was great or not. So I like, bye. Yeah. Or like, no, I do, you know, enjoy doing this. I love being able to like have an impact. It is still in kids uh, content, which like I've spent my career doing. And so I do like know. Um, and so that part does, you know, feel it feels a little comf uh, like it's comfortable. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can do yeah. that. That's fine. Uh, but it's just like it's going to be interesting because. A part of working in corporate, as you will even know, is like those politics. And if I don't, if I'm not in your office and yeah. I'm at my house yes. and like, I'm curious what that's actually going to look and yeah. feel like, because it's going to be different. It's not, I'm not in the office. So I don't have to deal with y'all. Like whoever is the annoying person in the office, everybody, yeah. hey, I ain't got to deal with you. I, I could see you once a week, you know? And so I'm curious what that's going to look like and actually how, the, how people are going to receive me. Like if they're going to be like, she needs to be here. It's really hard. Like, I don't know. I yeah. don't know. I'm just a little anxious about it, but anxious we'll see. Is a good word. First call is tomorrow. So I'll get the download on the projects that I'll, I'll be doing and we'll see how this goes. I feel like, um, and maybe you feel this way too, that the phase of life where you're talking about this transition going into the new job, I got some uh, news this morning that I knew was coming, but it was disappointing nonetheless. I'll tell you afterward. Okay. Um, but it rocked me to a point where I literally was asking myself, like, what am I doing? Mm. And I feel like that is the, like, theme not yeah. i don't want to say theme but also theme of like what i'm doing right now it's like what what am i doing yeah what is yeah. the point of it all oh, man yes. um and i think that might some of this is like i feel like some of it is coming with age some of it i feel like it's being an entrepreneur yeah um that you're just kind of like what is the purpose mm -hmm. of this yeah and i think purpose is so important in finding uh it's i was gonna say meaning but that would be why purpose. it's called purpose yeah <laughs> Uh, motivation is yes. maybe a better word. Motivation in doing what you're doing every single day. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I struggle with this in this world. Yes. It, sometimes it feels superficial. It, sometimes it feels not, you know, like not enough. Sometimes it feels like, girl, who the heck? care yeah yeah that. yes and i feel like with the the news that i got today i was just kind of like oh i feel like it was a reminder that like should i be doing this should i not be mm -hmm. doing this should i be pursuing other things like what is it all like what's the point yeah um so yeah and i got so what's so funny is i woke up this morning like 4 30 mm. i got the email i like before five and then i just have been up since 4 30 and so it's been on my mind and like i just kind of was like in a funky mood yeah, yeah you know yeah um thinking about it <clears throat> so anyway and that's the thing chandra asked what would you be doing instead the funny thing is i don't know mm -hmm. i don't know yeah sometimes that is what makes going back to a nine to five appealing yeah. Is that I can find meaning in a job description yep, yep, yep. that I'm very easily able to like check, check mark. Yep. I did these things. Therefore, I did a good job. Mm -hmm. um, and, and being on this, it's a never ending to do list. It's a, you know, never ending kind of creating things to do. do. <clears throat> and it's all just like for why? Yeah. To yeah. what end? So I don't know. I don't really have a, a way around that right now, but it definitely is like a thought. I almost did a video this morning about it, about it, like getting dressed and just being like, why? What's the whole point? And I just decided not to because I didn't even feel like filming. I usually, bless you, I usually shoot three or four videos on Mondays. I shot zero today. Hello. And I clearly I woke up in enough time because I was up at 4 30 a.m. I just I was like, I don't have it in me. I literally went to set up my camera and was like, nope. I don't have it. I don't I don't feel like it today. Yeah. So we'll see how that impacts me in the future. Um, Anything else? No. OK. Nope. Go. You want to go to black Twitter? Yes. You want to do the first one? You yes. Back? Thank you. Uh, Terry Nichols. Yeah. I just want to say that. Um, especially raising black men um, that 
black people in general, but especially if you are someone raising a black child, a black man, be mindful and careful about ingesting those images. Mm -hmm. They can cause you to be worried and anxious and very like protective over your kids in a way that obviously you want those things, but you also want to make sure that you're able to allow your child to live. Yeah. Joe asked me the other day if he could walk Monty to his friend's house. And I was like, no, mm. <laughs> absolutely That's real though. not. The answer is no. Actually, he low key lives kind of far, but he's thinking about the drive isn't far. But, you know, driving and walking ain't the same. Yeah. But even still, I had to go back and like make sure that I wasn't being too much for Mm -hmm. him because you still want him to be a child. I went to start that video. Me, I think me and Mel had this conversation, but I definitely had it with Kev where sometimes I feel the I don't want to call it the obligation, but in some ways I do feel an obligation to watch these videos as a way to make sure that I don't forget these people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like if I'm just reading it or hearing about it, there's a disassociation versus when you see the impact, the video that impact stays with you. Mm-hmm. But also I have to be mindful about what I'm ingesting. Yep, you know yep. what I mean? And like how that affects me and how like complicated that can be for me in real life and my mental health and my emotional health and all of those things. Yeah. So all of that to say, um, obviously rest in peace to Tyree. And also I hope I read today that there's a fourth or mm-hmm. fifth, six. Thank officer. you. I was like, I feel like it was more six officer. officer that was just released. And I'm just like, it's really too bad. Wait, rele- the- release from his duties. Correct. Yeah. 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 Fire. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. that these black men, uh, well, this one was white. Number six. Number six was white. He's a white man. Oh, I didn't see his picture. The picture I saw was black, but maybe it was someone old then. Probably the five. But yeah, the newest one is a white officer. Oh. So maybe I w- was two released today? From their jobs? Yeah. Oh, I only know about that one. Just the one was released yeah. today? Okay, okay, okay. The okay. Then they just had the wrong picture. Probably. Um, but they're talking about more because there was more sheriffs that showed up. And even they were talking about like the EMT people. Like I saw like... The video, the silent video that I started to watch, did not, was 30 minutes long. Oh, somebody has, like, put together, based on, because the way that the videos have been put out is, like, individualized. You kind of watch, and then you watch and watch. Somebody has put them together in, like, chronological order, chronological, like, sequence, like, order in which they took place. So that may have been that one. No. The, no, the one I saw was, like, an old, like, from a city light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That was okay. one of them. So in the they had they spliced different it. yes. They have different angles from what happened. No. I how do you feel about how do you how do you negotiate that? I oh wow, all the videos in total are over an hour long. Mm. I to what you're saying, when I when um George Floyd, when that happened, when he was murdered, I was working and I remember being on a call and my boss at the time said to everybody who's on the call, granted, or mind you, I was probably, it was me and one other black person and it was a black, I don't even know if he was on the team at that time. So I may have been the only black person on that call. And she said, I know today is like really heavy. Do you guys feel like we can proceed with the day or that we should like call off meetings? And I literally was about to be like, I cannot do it. And this other person on the call who was not black was like, it's heavy, but like, I think our work is so meaningful that like, it actually makes me feel better to like do work. So I think we should have like, keep going. And then everybody else was like, yes. So I was like, okay, mm -hmm. let me like pull myself together. And I just remember feeling so like alone and like, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not allowed to feel, I just have to like work. And so to experience this and to not be working in corporate, it's a completely different feeling. And I felt like when you're working and you're black, you always have to be able to articulate 100%. how you feel, how black people feel, how people feel. And the other thing is people who are not black, some of them, not everybody, but some of them went from this extreme of don't say nothing, don't ask nothing, don't care to every time when something happens, all they ever do is, how are you? Are you okay? Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Uh, how do you feel? What yeah. are you going to do? Are you?" And so you go from this one extreme to the other, and it's like, I don't want either of these. Yeah. And so this 
is so different because it's like I don't have nobody harassing me about how black people feel about this and how, why we so sad and trying to tell me even though you're not a black person that you also hate the things that have happened to black people. Like, girl, leave me alone. Yes. I'm sad and I'm not going to watch this video because it breaks me down every time. Like, the last one I watched was George Floyd and it was that image and like, here, th that's too much. Yeah. Okay? It happens and it sucks and we need to do something about it but like, not but the ch it's trauma no it absolutely watching is. that happen to black men when you have black sons a black daddy a black husband black brother like when you watch that and you can imagine the people you love in, in that, that position. position it you you got to tap out cuz it's it's too much yeah i d definitely 100% agree like don't y'all it don't just be mindful yes of the you know what you're consuming cuz absolutely to mel's point it 100% is trauma it's too much it is i remember when um George Floyd mm -hmm. and uh, all those Karen videos were also happening around yes. the same time mm -hmm. period. And I used to follow this Instagram account and it was called like, I don't know, Karen's gone wild or something like that. I don't even remember. And it would just have the videos that everyone would, mm -hmm. was posting, but that they would harness it. And that was their whole page. And I would like at first I was watching them because I thought they were funny because like especially when the black people like retaliated back to them. Mm -hmm. I thought it was so funny. Like, ha ha ha, Karen, you got what was coming to you. But all of them aren't that way. Mm -hmm. OK, some of them are just like them attacking black people or all of these yeah. things. So anyway, I went this at the time we lived in Calabasas, went to that grocery store over there. Mm -hmm. And I remember feeling in my body so anxious mm -hmm. that I was going to be attacked by these white people in Calabasas no less they had boarded up the and I was oh. like who's out here oh, my. but they had boarded up that the grocery stores and all the yep. stores that were in that mm -hmm. area and I was like oh my god like what is happening so I, when I went into the I, this one particular day I went into the store I was so anxious and like I could feel like something is going to happen I you know I, I told the kids that this this weekend I am too little to fight fair I'm That's telling real. you right now, Throw I am something. too little to fight fair. <laughs> if you come and attack me, please, no, ain't no what pop say. You can use these because you live. You live. <laughs> I'm not yeah, using these. No. I'm too little mm -hmm. to be trying to fight you one on one with some fists. Are you kidding me? I'm picking up something. Amen. So I went into the canned food aisle. Hello. And I was like, if something pops off, I need to be able to grab, grab a something. can and like chuck, chuck it, it at somebody. Mm -hmm. Like these, this is my thing. And in that moment, I was like, first of all, Melissa, this is ridiculous. But I was like, seriously, like in the canned food aisle before I'm like, you have to calm down. Yeah. This is crazy. Like you got to chill out. You need to unfollow these accounts. Actually, that day, I am not only did I unfollow that account, I unfollowed the shade room. Mm -hmm. And that's I no longer follow those accounts to this day day because all of that negativity and toxicity it stays it stays in with you. you it like infiltrates your mind it's like constant every yeah and ptsd is real when me and kev That's went through real. that whole thing on twitter a few years yeah. ago if i don't hardly ever go on twitter which is good and bad the bad thing is when you don't go on twitter and kev tweets me or you tweet mm -hmm. me or something and a lot of people respond I get oh anxious. I get anxious in my body because mm, I'm see. like, oh my god, what's did happening? Happen? Did I say something? Did yeah. the, what's going on? Yeah. Oh my god! Like every to this day, that's crazy. Every single time, if I go on Twitter and I have a lot of notifications, I'm immediately like, oh mm -hmm. my god, what's going on? What happened? The worst experience. Do not recommend. Zero stars. You gotta go Move on Twitter on. more. I know that's what I really the the that's because the literally there's nothing else going on. I really should just go on Twitter just to get the notifications down. Yeah. But I just don't. Be, it's not my fl favorite platform, so I just don't be on there. But child, I'll be like, woo. Ciao. Go ahead. Um, you want to do this one or you want me to keep going? Um, Which one? And I'm sorry. I'm trying to not drink in here. Someone told me I was smacking in Hilarious. the last video. Uh, I have about, what, five, five minutes? minutes? Okay. So let me go to, I'm going to go to this one. Okay. Um, so update on YSL. This is actually kind of funny. So... The judge in the YSL case has started saying he's going to fine you, fine people. Fine, mon fine mon monetarily. You have to pay a $10 fine if you, because there's a, a they have to wear masks and yeah. people are not properly wearing their mask or, or wearing their mask at all. And so he's been like, I'm finna start fining y'all because you need to wear your mask. Also, one of the attorneys like phone was going off and he was like, I'm finna find you for every ring that I hear. 
if you don't turn your phone off. So anyway, one of the defense attorneys last week didn't have his mask on either properly or on at all. I'm going to imagine have it properly. Maybe it wasn't like covering his nose. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The judge was like, okay, you got a $40 fine. Next time you're here, I want to see the receipt. You have to donate to a um, to a nonprofit organization, and I want to see the receipt. Here's the thing. The judge, I mean the attorney, he donated, right? He didn't even just donate $40. He ended up donating $60. He donated to the Third Good Marshall College Fund. So, okay. like, that's okay. great. He also don donated to Strippers United. I hate him. I hate you so much. The Strippers United. Is I he a black? I, I'm pretty sure he's black. Uh, but it's like a um, a nonprofit organization. I need to look it up. That advocates, that works to educate strippers on their workplace rights, organize clubs, engage in political action, and provide mutual aid to the community. Huh. Freaky. Larry. And I was like, this is so Atlanta. This this, this is, is the thing. So Atlanta. Why isn't this publicized on TV? This I is know. like OJ Simpson level. It's this so, is a reminder to get on this call. This is so funny. You gonna find me for that? You need to be fine. I heard it twice. <laughs> Twenty dollars. <laughs> donate to your strippers united is who you need to donate to. That the thing is, even though this is obviously a good cause, it's just hearing like, yes, this yes. is my receipt. I donated to yes. the Third Good Marshall Court Fund, <laughs> college, fund. college Fund, and then and I also donated to. The Strippers United of America Anonymous. Ha! Your I Honor. I love it. $60. This is so, it was so, f I'm like, you guys are giving me such a good time. This case, I Where mean, are you following it on Twitter? Yes. So listen, I'm happy you said that because y'all, I need to tell y'all who to follow because um, don't just, I just take their tweets and that's, you know, I tell y'all, but y'all need to follow. There's a black woman named Infamous Sylvia. Follow her on Twitter. Okay. And then the other person is a man. His name is Shadi. I cannot pronounce his uh, last name, but it's S-H-A-D-D-I. His last name is A-B-U-S-A-I-D. Those are the reporters that I follow on Twitter who okay. are covering this case. Sylvia is a black woman, so, like, follow her because she be having all the tea as well. But, like, they kind of almost... Uh, uh, Play off each other? Yeah, like they'll even direct you to the other person if they miss oh, nice. something or whatever. So it's like you get a full picture, and they're both really good. So, like, make sure y'all follow them. And then Kat y said, no, I want to get my summary from you. I'm not watching or following nobody but okay. you. <laughs> All I'm going to do is regurgitate what they say. I just I didn't want to just, like, take their stuff and not give the people credit. And, like, if y'all want to follow them, y'all should because that's who I'm following. I also, like, play around with different other people. If I see them, like, having information, I'll follow them. And I'm still going to, you know, bring it to y'all on this podcast because it's a good time. But those are who I follow. So I'm Maybe. not in the court case. Obviously. I'm not in the in the courtroom, obviously. Uh, this episode was a bunch of ran randomness, and I apologize that uh, I do have to skedaddle out of here. I have a meeting at 1 o'clock. Yes. But wait, so I want to go ahead. Uh, that's I want to, you could go. I just want to quickly talk about um, what the Florida. So like, let me close it out. That's fine. Okay. Bye, y'all. She going to go do her business stuff because she got business. So uh, the book report lady has to um, report back, I think, next week. So she's not she hasn't done her her report yet, but it's coming. She ain't she ain't did it yet, but it's coming. I think I think it's at the end of this week or even next week, but it's coming. Um, OK, the last one, because all y'all sent me this uh, two things. First off, me and Melissa watched uh, You People, which is on Netflix. It has Jonah Hill, Lauren London, Eddie Murphy. It has like everybody. And it is we laughed out loud. So I just want to say I enjoyed it. It was a good time. You should watch it. But. I want to talk about what the Florida, because all y'all sent me this um, Florida, all the articles, which is that Florida, them people down there was issuing fake nursing degrees. Y'all saw that? Hold on. Let me pull it up. 7,600 people paid for fake nursing degrees. So, and it was a total, they ended up paying, it was like over 114, let me get the right number, $114 million for fake degrees between 2016 and 2021. And of that, so they paid for these fake degrees, the transcripts, all that stuff, but then they have to go take the board. And so after they, or take like the, it's almost, it feels like it's almost like a bar, right? Like you get the degree, but then you have to like go pass the test. After they, of the 7,600 people who 
got the fake degrees, 2,400 of them then went to go take that test and pass. So 2,400 of these people are having jobs, working in the community, and they didn't even go to school for this. This is fake. So I just want to say, all the people who always be harassing me about Florida and, like, that Florida ain't that crazy, this is insane. This is a, such a problem. It's 25 people who are behind it, and they have all been charged. So go look that one up because Florida be Floridaing every single time. Uh, okay. I think that's it. Thanks for rocking with us. Uh, we will see y'all next week. Bye.